Well, you know us Zelda tubers, or at least those that think they are, we're always talking about theories, mysteries, and unexplained relics. Ooh. But sometimes it's fun to just lay back and discuss the more non lore focused topics. <laughs> you didn't just say that, did you? I know, what a shock. For example, ships. If you don't know what a ship is, then have you really ever been on the internet? Just kidding. Allow me to explain. A ship is basically when fans pair two or more characters together as a relation ship. Often using the term, I ship them. And trust me, I hear that saying so often when watching TV shows with my girlfriend. <laughs> it's basically saying that they'd make a good pairing, and man does the Zelda fandom come in with some amazing ships, and as a little change of pace for this week's video, I thought we could take a look at Breath of the Wild and rank every ship from that game. Now, obviously we cannot rank literally every ship, as that would mean taking every main character, every minor character, and every NPC and pairing them all together. So what we will be doing is ranking every notable ship that I could find. Now, you should know that I am judging these on two different factors. Firstly, the actual likelihood of it happening, and secondly, how much I'd personally like to see it happen, both on a scale of 1 to 10. Also, we won't be including Z-Link as A, that's often viewed as a canon thing anyway, and B, it's just so basic. So without further ado, be sure to go and grab yourself a snack or drink and send them in on social media to get featured right here, and allow me to present to you my ranking of every notable ship in Breath of the Wild. Kicking off our list takes us to a rather unlikely pairing at first sight, but when you think a little more into it, this could be possible. From the relationship between the five champions and Princess Zelda, a few immediate potential ships stand out. For example, you've got Link and Mipha, with Mipha obviously having feelings towards him, but the two characters that just don't seem to have a pairing are Urbosa and Daruk. You could say Urbosa x Zelda, but that's more of a mother-daughter type relationship, as the Gerudo chief cared for her in the absence of her mother. Urbosa and Rivali, well, just no, Urbosa and Mipha don't really have much of a connection at all throughout the game other than being champions together, and Daruk also doesn't have much of a connection to Mipha or Rivali other than being fellow champions. The basis of this Urbosa x Daruk ship is that they are both lonely I guess, in this sense. In the sense that they don't really compute with the others. It's honestly a weak ship, but one that deserves a mention. I'd rate this 2 out of 10 for actually happening, and 4 out of 10 for how much I'd actually like to see it happen. Ah yes, a ship I'm sure many of you are more familiar with. The relationship between this pair is actually kind of funny, as it's a bit of a fangirl crushing on Link situation. Paya is the granddaughter of Impa and can be found within Impa's home. During the story of Breath of the Wild, Link must seek out Lady Impa, obviously resulting in Link meeting Paya. She is so nervous around him after realising that he is THE hero that her grandmother had told her about, and man are their conversations cute. Off the bat, she is very helpful to the hero, continuously reminding him to just ask if he needs help or assistance. Her voice trembles around him due to the butterflies in her stomach, and when Link asks her her story, she says, You, I, me? You want to know my st story? Followed by, Well, my name is Paya. The, the reason I was named Paya is because I have a birthmark shaped like a papaya seed. Well, it's kinda, um, Master Link, I advise you change the subject. I'll answer you some d day. Just, just not today. It's on my l left, well, <clears throat> followed by my favourite part, her grandmother Impa yelling. It's smack in the middle of her left butt cheek, followed by Paya's cute embarrassment. This is clearly more of a crush from Paya to Link, but one that could develop into something given time, which considering Link is the hero, is rather unlikely to happen. They'd make a cute couple though, let's be honest here. I'd rank this 3 out of 10 in terms of the likelihood, and honestly, I'd give it a solid 5 out of 10 on how much I'd actually want this to happen. Now we're getting into some of the juicy ones. Zelda x Mipha. Honestly, two of the nicest characters in the game that never really got the chance to know each other that well. They obviously talked a lot through their duties, but in terms of just getting to sit down and talk, 
Not really. We know Mifa is one of the most caring and loving characters ever, and Princess Zelda is such a sweet girl when not under the astronomical pressure of stopping Calamity Ganon. Honestly speaking, yeah, Mifa loved Link, but I believe that if her and Princess Zelda were able to just spend time together, they'd both slowly fall for each other, and this is assuming Mifa lost interest in Link. They are definitely not the most shipped couple of the game, but definitely one worth a quick mention. I'm going to give this ship a 2 out of 10 in terms of likelihood but a strong 7 out of 10 on how much I'd like to see it happen. Oh, <laughs> this is a good one. Arguably the most controversial ship we'll be covering today, Link x Rivali. Now, we all know that these two elite warriors do not get off to the best of starts. Whilst both being aware and to some degree admiring each other's abilities, Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. Okay, well, maybe just one of them admiring and the other being a salty little chicken wing. The point is, at first, they rival each other and thrive off each other, but this, in the world of fandoms, is the starting point for Link x Rivali. It would take a while, likely a long time, and over a long period of time, it is believed that Rivali could put his ego aside and begin to bond with Link, train with Link, and establish a genuine bond with Link. Friendship which eventually turns into an actual ship. I honestly couldn't tell you why this is such a beloved but also hated ship in the fandom, but it just is. Honestly, look up some Link x Rivali fanfics and you'll see just how loved this duo is. Honestly speaking, I have to give it a 1 out of 10 for the likelihood, but I will, however, give it a generous 7 out of 10 for how much I'd like to see it happen. The hero of Hyrule and legendary Rito Warrior. What a combo. Surprised? I would be too. Rivali x Mifa is not a ship that comes to mind immediately when someone says Breath of the Wild ships. And like some ships, this one is heavily built on theoretical thinking and imagining scenarios. We already know that Rivali sort of viewed Mifa as weak. This is part of his whole ego and wanting to be the best out of everyone, but as Rivali's arrogance gets in the way and results in some injuries, say Mifa heals him in his time of need. This brings Rivali to see the strength within her, realising her true abilities and just how incredible incredibly valuable they are. This allows Rivali to see love, feel care, and not need to focus on just himself. Doubling is a way for Mifa to see through his passive-aggressive nature and see the true warrior. Mifa shows Rivali that he deserves love without having to be the best at everything, and seeing how much time Link spends with Zelda takes her interest in the hero away and shifts it to Rivali. It's a very imaginative ship, but definitely one that deserves its mention on this list. Also, big thanks to my girlfriend for helping me out on this pick. She's heavily into ships, fanfics, and all that fun stuff, and provided the idea of this one to me. I'm going to give it a low 1 out of 10 in terms of likelihood, but a decent 6 out of 10 on how much I'd like to see it. More Hylian and Sheikah combination. I love it. Zelda x Impa. Now firstly, I should say that this ship is talking about Zelda and Impa 100 years ago, not present Zelda and present Impa. Back 100 years ago, Impa was often found by Princess Zelda's side, a personal assistant if you like, someone who reported information to the princess and honestly, the closest thing to a friend Zelda would have had. We can see during the events of Age of Calamity, a game closely connected to Breath of the Wild, that during a time in which Princess Zelda was highly stressed, Impa was often with her. I could see this ship forming in the sense of Zelda getting near breaking point, and Impa being the only person outside of her father being there for her, forming a new bond and connection between the pair, starting a relationship. Likely one that would need to be kept private or on the low due to their little situation threatening the entire kingdom, but come on. Who wouldn't love to see Zelda and Impa in action together? Their stories, adventures, and just them. It's a good ship in my opinion. 4 out of 10 in terms of likelihood, and another 7 out of 10 for how much I'd like to see this. Alright, I know you were all waiting for this one, and honestly, despite it being so well known and a bit of a joked about subject, it is a very valid ship with a lot of depth to it. Link 
ex Mifa is interesting. We know that Mifa had very strong feelings towards Link before he got consumed with being the princess's personal knight. The hero and Zora spent a lot of time together as kids and growing up, and as they got older, Mifa developed romantic feelings for him. We know her side of this is definitely canon. I mean, she literally made Zora garments for him, something that is only done for one Zora loves. The question is, did Link have feelings for her? That we can never really be sure on, but can speculate on. We could say that if Link had more time with Mifa as the pair grew older, he could have potentially felt the same towards her. Assuming this would be the case, this ship would honestly be one of the best in my opinion. Mainly because we know at least one side of it was 100% true, and when it comes to shipping, there isn't always this certainty and it's usually more just for fun. Just imagine if this came to be, Link and his Zora wifey. What a thought that is. And on top of all of that, like Mifa told Link in one of his recovered memories, she will always be there to heal his wounds. Yeah, this ship gets a strong 7 out of 10 for me in terms of likelihood, and an equally strong 7 out of 10 in terms of how much I'd like to see it happen. On the other side of Link's love for the Zora, Link X Sidon. Clearly, this is more of a fan created ship, but one that deserves every single bit of praise. I cannot tell you what it is about Link X Sidon, but I just love the idea of them being a thing. The way they meet in Breath of the Wild was cool in itself, Sidon seeking him out to help aid Zoro's domain, and then we see his marvellous smile, then straight into Link riding Sidon's back in an attempt to enter Divine Beast Varuta. I love their interactions during this time. The communication and determination of them both to take down a corrupt Divine Beast is so awesome, and in all honesty, I viewed this as more of a brotherly relationship, but fans Fandoms being fandoms, this became a ship, and I'm all for it. They'd make such a good duo. I mean, Sidon can ride him down the rivers, Link can, I, I don't know, climb him because Sidon is a tall boy? But all in all, Link X Sidon is a very solid ship. Two strong boys joining forces. I mean, they have a great friendship already, why not? Likelihood, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. How much I'd like to see this happening, I'm saying 9 out of 10. I love Link X Sidon personally. I bet you didn't expect to see this so high up in the list, or see this at all. Honestly speaking, this ship requires a lot of theoretical situations and thinking, which is totally acceptable when it comes to shipping, fanfics, and all of that fun stuff. So allow me to explain Arbosa ex-King Rome. So, as we know, Rome was a widower. He lost his wife and Zelda lost her mother. That was never going to be an easy situation. He created an insane amount of pressure on young Zelda to figure out her sealing powers, but he didn't really know what else to do other than pressure her into working on it and just figuring it out. This is because it was her mother who would have trained her and helped her through this process. That was something her father was not knowledgeable on. On the flip side of things, we see Arbosa take Zelda in on numerous occasions nurturing her, taking her under her wing, encouraging her, and just filling that mother role. We do know that Urbosa was close to her mother, so it makes sense that she fills this role. The only missing part in the canon story would be Urbosa x Rome. Basically, in fandom terms, this would come about in terms of Rome seeing Urbosa's care for his daughter, admiring it, and beginning to establish a relationship with the Gerudo chief. Then over time, Urbosa sees the mistakes Zelda's father made and wants to bring out the good intentions of the king, teaching him how to treat Zelda and what would be a difficult time. We know that the king wasn't always the best at this and we even see a glimpse of that in an Age of Calamity cutscene. At one point of the game, Rome takes away Terako from a young princess Zelda, bringing her to tears. He knew this wasn't right, but he didn't know what else to do but apply all focus towards her training now that her mother had passed. It's a truly tragic tale, but this ship would offer the king help in treating Zelda right and would honestly bring out the best of King Rome. Honestly speaking, I have to rank this ship at a low 1 out of 10 in terms of likelihood, but I do give it a very, very strong 9 out of 10 on how much I'd like to have seen this happen. It's an amazing ship created by the fandom. Okay, now hear me out. At first, this ship may seem odd, but believe me, I truly think that Link x Rivali x Sidon is the absolute best ship in Breath of the Wild. That and my girlfriend would kill me if I said otherwise. <laughs> 
Anyway, this trio is definitely going to be ranked low in the likelihood factor, but damn, the want for this to happen is high. I don't quite know how to describe it, but fans love Link Sidon. Fans love Link Revali. So why the heck not put all three of them together? You've got the nobility of Link, the arrogance of Revali, and the well Sidon of... Sidon. I mean, just look at him. For me, I just think that over a period of time, assuming the calamity didn't get in the way, that these three would slowly become closer and closer. With Link and Sidon growing close first, Revali perhaps then bullying Link a little with his arrogance, and then Big Boy Sidon stepping in to defend Link and set Revali straight, making Bird Boy realise the person Link truly is, and bam, they fall in love. This is the true Zelda love triangle. None of that fake Link Zelda Ganon stuff. This is the ship we all need in our life. The likelihood of this happening, I honestly have to say 1 out of 10. It's so unlikely, but we're shipping characters here. And in terms of how much I'd like to see this happen, I'm going to have to say a whopping 10 out of 10. Like, damn, these three would make such a great trio. You've got a flying archer, a skilled swordsman, and well, Sidon. Enough said. Thanks a ton for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing for more Zelda content. What do you think of my list? Am I spot on or way off with these ships and their respective rankings? This was all in good fun, so please don't be too hurt if your favourite ship wasn't as highly ranked as you wished, as this was just my opinion. But be sure to leave a comment below with your favourite ships from Breath of the Wild, as I am very curious to know. A huge thank you goes out to all of my channel supporters across both Patreon and YouTube. Your support is greatly appreciated, as it helps me massively to bring you these videos week in week out. If you'd like to help support the channel and get your name featured at the end of all of my videos, a shout out upon joining and more, then consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube. Again, thanks for watching, and until the next time, I've been Hyrule Gamer.